Hey everybody, how y'all doing out there? My name is Jim Austin and you are being, you're watching The Austin File. It is my bi-weekly podcast that uh, I keep you abreast of what's going on in town across North Texas. I also talk about commercial real estate, you know, keep you abreast because that's what I do. I am the broker with the Austin Company Commercial Real Estate, also known as the Fresh Prince of Commercial Real Estate. Yes, yes, people get a little chuckle out of that, <laughs> but I'm celebrating 40 years and I know what to do. So if you want to buy something, sell something, or rent something, you call Jim Austin. So um, that's it on that end. Also, I have an opportunity to interview people that are interesting that have something to say and they want to share it on the worldwide net. And our show is on Jim Austin Online. We're here at the um, Western Heritage Center in the Stockyards. Uh, we have our Stockyards podcast studio. We have the home of the National Multicultural Western Heritage Museum and the headquarters for the Austin Company. So. We're in my personal office and my special guest, I know y'all want me to stop talking <laughs> and get to the meat of this interview. So I have a special guest. Tell everybody who you are, man. Hi everybody, I am Wendy Shaw and I am the CEO of Longhorn Council Boy Scouts of America. Yeah, we all know about the Boy Scouts. Indeed. You know, yes. great, great organization. Mm -hmm. I was a Boy Scout once upon a time <laughs> in New Maybe Jersey. Not yesterday in Jersey, okay. yeah, in Jersey, All and right. uh, very Thank interesting. You. And we at the museum partner with uh, four of your chapters. Well, mm -hmm. more than that, but the uh, Buffalo Soldier chapters, right? You know, out of four of the Absolutely. local churches here, and uh, very involved. And we we've done some things, but. Tell us about, you know, Wendy, you yeah. know, what, what makes up Wendy, you know, <laughs> where did Wendy come from and, right. and, you know, where you grew up and some of the things that inspires you, you know, kids, college, I'm going to let you talk. For All a right. While. That sounds, okay. sounds good. Um, so I'm originally from Wisconsin, small town, only 3,400 people. Uh, it is the name of the town is New Holstein, so it doesn't get much more Wisconsin than a town called New Holstein. Okay. And um, my par parents were educators and I have an older sister and a younger brother. And uh, did I did scouting, Girl Scouts as a kid. Okay. And I was involved in lots of things, band and um, theater and all kinds of fun stuff in, in uh, high school. And uh, decided to go to college at St. Olaf College in Northfield, St. Olaf. Same. Yes, it's a Norwegian Lutheran private liberal arts college in Minnesota. In Minnesota. In Minnesota. Yes. And so, Minnesota is not far from Wisconsin. No, no, they're neighboring states. Yes. Um, but it is uh, about six hours. Um, oh, okay. From uh, where I where I grew up in in Wisconsin to uh, the campus there. Sure. So, yeah. Sure. Which is where I met my husband of okay. uh, almost 29 years. Okay. We met in college. And um, he had an opportunity to go to grad school in New York. So we decided we didn't want to be apart. So we got um, married uh, over Christmas break of his first um, year in grad school. Mm. And we didn't care much for New York. We were in Lower Westchester, specifically Mount Vernon. Um, just not our cup of tea. So yeah. as soon as he graduated, we hightailed out of there. And he had an opportunity for a job in Helena, Montana. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we did a Place, huge... Places I've never been. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Indeed. You Indeed. know, I must, I must get there. Yeah. Know? Oh, yeah. Beautiful country. Loved, okay. loved Montana. Um, it is, when they say it's big sky country, they are spot on. It is, it is an absolutely, um, in some ways, pristine, you know, as, as we were walking through the museum just now and you think about the West and, and just the open space. Um, 
Montana and, and Texas have a lot in common that way. Um, yes. It's just lots of open space and, and um, lots of ranching and that sort of thing. There so, are cowboys there too. Lots of cowboys. Yes. In Montana. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, just a, a wonderful child. Hood. Yes, and very you much. You found so. your sweetheart. I did. And y'all got yes, married, I and did. you're all our partners. Any mm -hmm. any offspring? No, nope, no children. Okay. We've had uh, we've had lots of fur babies over the years. Yeah. Uh, we currently have two dachshunds. Okay. So, yep, Journey and Flash. Journey so. and Flash. You <laughs> heard it right <laughs> yes. here on Those Jim Austin two, yeah, on Live. Hey. Those are my two dachshunds. You know, Our two dachshunds. You know, we're going to have to do a program on. You know, um, senior adults, and I mean not senior, senior, that never had children. Oh, you okay. know, I mean it's a little yep. conversation because Absolutely. I have you know Dr. Joe Austin and Ronnie, no children, mm -hmm. just got a little fur baby. Yep, and they're just yep. people that say don't want to have no kids, mm -hmm. don't want that, you know, yep. that hiccup or none of that. Yep. You know? Okay. Yeah. No, I think it's a it's an interesting conversation. To, and I think uh, everybody kind of gets to that um, from a little different place. And, and yeah. That applies to us okay. As well, we'll, so. get, we'll get back on track. Okay. We'll do that another time. <laughs> okay. So, so. We'll have me back. We'll have that conversation. We'll, we'll have so. a panel. Oh, I like I'll bring in a yeah. bunch of folks, you know, That's and great. just why, when, where. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're doing a real estate investment uh, workshop. Okay. On, uh, I think in September, September the 8th, so right here in my uh, studio, we're going to just talk about what's important to invest in real estate. So mm -hmm. we can do anything, you know, <laughs> right. we can do anything right here because we're Absolutely. on the worldwide net. And mm -hmm. I looked at my watch and I'm going to look right at the camera, see our mm -hmm. time. You know, so yeah, yeah. yeah so okay. we know we go twenty minutes. Okay, very yeah, good. So we'll know, All and right. then twenty minutes just shoots right by. Absolutely, because you know we're getting hard. to know each other because we've had some people say, "You need to meet Jim Austin." Yes, and we saw each other at Rotary, and yes. you're thinking about becoming a member. Correct. But tell us the Boy Scouts. I mean, yeah. there's so much going on, and you know, you there tell is. me what you want everybody to know. Okay. <laughs> I would love to do that. Yes, I would yes. love to do that. So I have worked for uh, the Boy Scouts of America for 21 plus years oh. and uh, in four different um, um, councils. Uh, there's 250 councils across the country. Mm -hmm. um, so this is this is my fourth and I uh, I am so fortunate and so blessed to do every day what I love and feel passionate about. Um, I, nothing to me is more important than developing our next generation of young people. And we all know that um, some young people in, in their um, childhood have, <clears throat> have great opportunities that are presented to them and, and others um, need more of a helping hand and need, um, and there isn't a young person in the world that doesn't need a mentor and people that they can talk to, whether that, that is their parents or whether that's other people in their lives. And so I love the way that scouting is a, a community. Um, I love the way that it's, it's about um, relationships. It's about, yes. it's about connecting. Um, that's the best part of my job is working with the thousands of volunteers um, that we have uh, here at Longhorn Council and, and that I've met. Um, I have lifelong friends um, because I have had the opportunity and I meet such cool people, <laughs> you yeah, know? If sure. I had, I don't know, I don't even know what else I would do, but if I had a banking job, I know I would never meet the kind of cool people that I have, you and I might not have had the chance to meet. We'd have yeah, no true. reason for our worlds to connect. So I love the way, um, I have an opportunity to meet others and hear about their passions, and and sometimes um, those passions uh, lead us to to do scouting things together. But other times, it's we can just talk about how well, we can make our communities a better place. Well, you know, in in developing lives. Mm -hmm. and, getting people's pageant passion and you know you have the different badges oh absolutely and, and involvement so <laughs> yes. this 
probably has to be one of the largest councils in the It country. is. Yeah, in terms of membership, um, we're number 13 in the country for number of youth okay. that we, we serve. So we are, um, we're a good size operation and, and we're financially healthy and doing good things to provide lots of fun, exciting um, scouting opportunities. Well, we partnered um, about four, about five months ago we partnered together for the Family Fun Day, mm -hmm. where exactly. we have uh, six acres out in Southeast Fort Worth, and mm -hmm. you know we had horseback riding, archery, rock climbing, <laughs> yeah, nine one one cell phone Sally was out there, and face painting. So we like partnering, you know, with the Boy Scouts and, and looking forward. So we'll look forward to that in the spring. Tell Most someone if there was someone interested in getting mm. their child yeah. interested in Boy Scouting, what should they do? Yeah. Other the, than call me. Right. You know? <laughs> right. <laughs> or me. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, no, the easiest way, uh, regardless of where you are, if you're here, here in the 23 counties that we serve as part of Longhorn Council, mm -hmm. um, or if you are anywhere else, the easiest way to connect is through beascout.org. Woo. Yeah, beascout.org. It's as simple as that. Beascout.org, you yeah. know. And then you can find out more information about scouting, what it's all about, the different age groups, um, the different opportunities. And then it also has a, a tool using your zip code on how to find um, scouting near you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I know there's been a big issue about girls joining Boy Scouts. Can mm -hmm. you talk a little bit about that <laughs> subject, you know, because some folks was upset and some uh -huh. folks said, hey, girls are doing everything. They're hitting the baseball, uh -huh. kicking footballs, you yeah. know. Um, can you talk a little bit about <laughs> sure. that? And, Absolutely. you know, instead of telling me to pause and, <laughs> you know, say, Jim, uh, you know. But, no, that's a great yeah. question and, and certainly um, one that got some, some media attention and, and lots of Lots of conversations, uh, you know, when when you're a 110 year organization Whoa. like the Boy Scouts of America is actually 111 to be precise. That's how old um, this building is. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Share, yeah. Uh, share yeah. an anniversary. Yeah. 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 Long That's time amazing. history. Absolutely. 111 yeah. years. You yes. heard it right here <laughs> on the Austin. Yeah. yeah. So when you have a uh, organization, buildings, things that have that kind of history, there's certainly a lot of emotional connection to um, different decisions that get made. And, not, and, and so it was no different about when the decision was made to welcome um, girls and young women into our iconic program. So the interesting thing about that decision is we have had young ladies in scouting since um, the 70s in our older youth programs, exploring and venturing. So it is actually not new for us. The piece that was different um, when the decision was made in um, 2018 was that it was in our iconic programs, Cub Scouts and the actual Boy Scout program. We hadn't historically had um, girls and young ladies in those programs. So. But we, we have had young ladies be very successful in, in our old youth programs for decades. And so when the uh, opportunity came to, because what we find and what is so true is families today have a lot going on and they want to do things as a family. And so being able to um, provide families with uh, a youth development program that gives character and leadership, and they can do as an entire family is a win. So that's, uh, that's what we were looking for. We've been very successful. Our um, currently Longhorn Council, 10% of our membership is, is girls and young ladies. Oh. And so we, uh, we have aspirations <clears throat> to obviously increase that uh, number. But, um, and the, the young ladies that joined two years ago, um, just became eligible to be Eagle Scouts just mm, this that's, year. That's big stuff. And that is very big stuff. And um, we are very proud of how, uh, again, iconic 
the rank of Eagle Scout is. We, we hear again and again how um, adult men um, continue to have Eagle Scout on their resume, even later in life. And it's just um, fascinating to hear how um, they will say as a 40 or 15 year old, you know, that was what got them the job, or you know, that was that connection that they made with that future mm -hmm. employer. So, but anyway, back to our young ladies. So um, they just now, because it's the Eagle Scout is a whole process. <clears throat> you have to um, earn 21 badges. You have to do all these ranks. You have to do a certain amount of service work. You, you know, there's a lot that goes into being an Eagle Scout. And if you do it really quickly, it'll take you roughly a minimum of two years. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're you're really working hard, pushing hard to 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 do it all. You're talking a minimum of two years. So this is this is a big commitment. So the young ladies uh, were eligible to or finally hit that that mark. We had sixteen young ladies that were part of the inaugural class of female Eagle Scouts right here in Longhorn County. So proud of those young ladies and. Um, nationwide, there was nearly a thousand young ladies who achieved the rank of, were the first class of uh, Eagle Scouts, but we're super proud of our, our, our 16 um, from right here in the area. I can feel it by that big smile Absolutely. on your face that you're very proud. And for you to be the, is it the executive director, mm -hmm. president? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. you, executive director. You've got to be strong. Oh, absolutely. You know, you had to go to school and pay attention, you know. <laughs> you never played hooky, you know. And not when my parents were teachers, that's right. for sure. <laughs> right, educating. So, yep. yeah, no, that's yeah. good. Absolutely. Where's the headquarters? Where are y'all located? Yeah, so we have an office in Hearst, and we yeah. have another in Waco, okay. and we have uh, multiple camp properties. Uh, we've got a, a property up in Denton called Hills and Hollows. We have a property out uh, by Lake Ridgeport called Sid Richardson Scott Ranch, mm -hmm. which 60 plus years ago was given to us by the Sid Richardson Foundation, which is obviously a, a huge local uh, supporter of, of the community. And um, we have a property called Worth Ranch in Palo Pinto. And we have mm -hmm. another property down in Belton called Camp Tafoya. So we've got lots of properties throughout our our territory and, and it's a lots of places for scouts to enjoy the outdoors one thing i remember as a kid uh, i was born in north carolina and raised in jersey but every summer <laughs> i'm on the way down to my uncle bernard's farm sure and uh, it was just a great life to be in the country on the farm you know, you know uncle bernard didn't play he had to work you know right. he, up five in the morning you gotta go Grocery Absolutely. store to pick tobacco. Yeah. But um, I do remember going to 4 H camp. Oh, okay. And it always yep. just sticks in my spirit of just going away to camp and enjoying yep. camp with friends and swimming Absolutely. and just being a kid. Absolutely. Know? And that camp experience is certainly uh, a key component to um, a, any scout, any young person's life. And we mm -hmm. like to say that we do a pretty good job. Building character, scouting. absolutely. You know, and leadership, mm -hmm. and uh, I know those scouting badges. Yeah, you know, I mean, absolutely. there's a wonderful thing. So, if you had to say something that you want to inspire someone to get interested mm -hmm. in scouting, what would this is your opportunity? Yeah. So I would say that our young people need scouting more than ever. The if the pandemic has created a lot of challenges for us as a society, but I would say that um, one of the one of the skills that doesn't get talked about a lot that scouts learn by being a scout is resiliency, and that is absolutely um, I think one of the things that we have seen the the young people who have navigated. Uh, the challenges of the pandemic um, mm -hmm. well have have that resiliency and those that struggled um, maybe they didn't have that as much and so I would I would absolutely welcome everyone to consider scouting and and think about um, not just that impact that it's going to have while they enjoy time with their friends and and they do fun activities 
Um, we call it fun with a purpose. Because um, it is. The kids think they're having a great time. Um, they don't know that they're <laughs> learning, you know, that they're uh, developing their character. They're just having a good time. And that's what's important to us, is they're having fun, but there's some good things happening in the background. Well, the scouting um, population, when you meet them, they're very mannerable. Mm -hmm. And they learn these skills, and it's a wonderful thing. So it's been my pleasure, Wendy, to have you on my show. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm looking forward to creating a strong, wonderful friendship and that if I can do ever do anything, I as I said, I was a Boy Scout, <laughs> and I served on the council for you know probably six years in my early years <laughs> here in Fort Worth. I've been here forty four years, <laughs> so used to be a point that I was on Everything. everybody's <laughs> board. board of directors. So right. I said, hey, I got to go back to work. <laughs> so this is Jim Austin with the Austin File, and I want to thank you for listening and paying attention but share come on out join my network facebook social media eventbrite all of that stuff that's me jim austin online signing off thank you